So which one do I salt cure? Venison fillet. This one? Yep. Brian, right, just need to start working a little bit quicker, mate. Yeah. I've finally got some stock on. I'm trying to push, but I'm finding it really hard. Just need to really, you know, crack on. My panna cotta is setting in the fridge. My ice cream is churning. Right, let's do the rice pudding. All right, rice pudding. I have to get started on the black rice pudding because the rice takes a long time to cook. 20 grams of arborio into a saucepan. Yeah. In another saucepan, 80 grams of black rice. Ran out of saucepans. I've used up all my pots. You know, I've used about 15 of them. All right, sorry. I'm starting to lose it. I've got things everywhere. Everything's a mess. You know, this is not how I wanted to work. So many pans. Oh, man. You got jasmine rice, aborio rice, um, plums, and oil. I'm still flabbergasted by all these elements. Ooh. No, no, no. Keep going, keep going. Push, push, push. I didn't expect this dessert to be so hard. Check your past name. Maybe because I've nailed the ones in the past, maybe I thought I could nail this one easily as well. That's not how the story goes, right? Is that time? Who are you most worried about when you look along the benches? Is it is it Stephen at the back? He seems to have a few issues down there, but he might pull it together. I don't know. There's about four or five processes he's got to go through. Absolutely. He's got to cook the rice pudding, rice. which is the dish <laughs> as such. It's like serving a venison dish with no venison on it. Look, Let's see, his ice cream's in and churning, and well, the ice cream's the important seems... part, isn't it? Really, yeah, that's the yummy man. bit. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's the time. It's time. My black rice pudding is taking a very long time to absorb the water. But I can't worry about that now. It's time to get the ice cream out of the churner. Oh my god, what the hell? Man, something hasn't worked. It hasn't even picked up. I'm gonna have to just chill in the blast chiller and hopefully the consistency works out. All these things are just starting to weigh on my head. The rice pudding, it's not cooking down. The panic cut is lumpy. And then now the ice cream hasn't really set. This is the last thing I need. But I've got all this meat on the go at once, and it's hard to give everything my full attention. OK. A little bit dark on the bottom. I've bent my crap in it. What is it, Ben? Yeah. That one's a bit much. If I go home from this, I'll be devastated. But if I stop, it's over. Hopefully that flavour doesn't carry through too much. I just try to get on with it. Keep an eye on your sirloin. It's got to be red. Come on, get it off. Get it off. Get him off, he's rare. Yep, let him rest. It's pretty rare, but that's okay, right? Yep, it's meant to be. Do you reckon that's good? Yeah, yeah. Move on to the wrap. I cook my venison. It needs to be perfectly medium rare. I hope I don't overcook this. Ten minutes to go! Come on! It's time to assemble the dish. I start with my panna cotta. Oh, man. I'm happy I've managed to do all these summons, but I know that some of them aren't perfect. The ice cream isn't set. If I serve this dessert without ice cream, it's going to throw this whole dish out of balance. So even though I don't have the texture of ice cream, I'm going to have to use it just to get the flavour out of it. I hope that's enough. It's time to cook the venison. I'm really nervous. I've never cooked it before. It could be absolutely all wrong and send me home. Focus and bring it home now. Okay, right? yeah. Come I'm on, ready. come on. Thank Don't you. stuff this up. You're doing well. Yeah, let's go. Cool. Come on, Benny. Let's go. My venison is resting. I've still got to make the crispy kale. I've still got to caramelise the figs. I've still got to get the sliced beetroot on. I've still got to finish the sauce. There's just so many things to do. I add the grapes to the sauce, I let that simmer down. It's really important because it's got to balance the sweetness of the sauce. Come on, Ben, you need to get stuff on the plate. Yeah. I was doing so well before, but with five minutes to go, I can just feel it slipping away and I'm worried it's not going to come together. Thank you. Right, five minutes to go. Let's go, guys. Come on, come on, guys. Go, Come on. How's your rice pudding going? It's still not cooked for it. Keep it cooking, keep it cooking. You should have got that one on earlier. Yep. Come on, Benny. I cut into the venison. That's rare. And as soon as I cut it, I know it's undercooked. Get your venison.
frozen out of the freezer. Yep. Just double check the cling wrap. There's so much to do to finish this dish. I need to get all of this cling wrap off. I'd hate to serve that to the judges. Move as fast as you can, Sarah. One minute left. Looks good, Steve. Where's the blowtorch? Get that string off. I know that I'm rushing, and you make silly mistakes when you're rushing. Last thing is the fig. Last little touches, 30 seconds. Oh. Go get the figs and blowtorch them. Oh my god. I need to just hurry up and get this fig onto the plate. Gotta move, gotta move. It's just crazy that there's so many elements to get on this plate. I should have simmered the grapes in the sauce. I just don't have time. She just put a grape stem on there. Get that off. I've also got to get my figs on there. Is everything on there, Benny? I can't think of anything else. Ten seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Woo! Well done, Ben. Thank you. All right. That was a classic MasterChef pressure test. And it's all about time versus task, because that wasn't easy. You had to pick a dish, and you had two hours to reproduce them as perfectly as you could. Both dishes had, uh, you know, lots and lots of elements and lots of technique, but I think you all did a fantastic job. You know, to be honest, I think giving them to even some guys that have worked with us for a while, they would struggle, so well done. You all made mistakes today. Ben, undercooked venison and burnt crepinet. Sarah, undercooked venison, no figs on the plate, and worse than that, cling film on the plate. Oh my gosh, I thought I checked for the cling wrap. It's definitely possible that I could be eliminated today. Byron, you left string on the venison, no figs, and you left the grapes on the stem. And when we say stem, some of them were branches. Stephen, obviously the ice cream and foam were problematic, but the panna cotta was lumpy too. So in the end, we had to look for the positives. Ben. You're the only person with all the elements on the plate. And that's why you're safe. Sarah, the dish was well seasoned. And your crepinet was perfect. You're safe. Thank you. Bar and Stephen, we know you're both very good friends and we know that you both got huge drive and ambition to improve, but one of you has to go home. Byron, you cooked your venison perfectly, and that's why you're safe. Stephen, I'm sorry, but your time in this competition has come to an end.